Academic Search Premier is a great database, but it's a very general database. It's a lot like Walmart. It has a little bit of everything, but not necessarily the best of anything. So many articles are published every day in journals and magazines and newspapers around the world that no one database can contain them all. Instead, what you get is companies like EBSCO, who read hundreds and hundreds of articles each day and then categorize them into databases, and then sell subscriptions to those databases to people who want to do research, colleges, hospitals, or businesses. CU subscribes to the EBSCO host databases, so one of the things your tuition money pays for is access to all these online articles. In fact, CU subscribes to hundreds of databases, and your success in finding research is going to be directly correlated with your success in choosing the right database. So, how do you choose which discipline to search in? Let's look at an example. Let's say I want to research the issue of transsexual athletes in the Olympics. From the library homepage, I click on Articles and then on Browse Databases by Subject. I get a list of subjects which includes most of the major scholarly disciplines. In which of these disciplines might I profitably search for information on transsexual athletes? An obvious choice is LGBT, which stands for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender. And that might well be a good place to start. I like to encourage my students to search in multiple disciplines. It's possible that I could go into the first database under LGBT and find more information there than I could ever use in my research paper on transsexual athletes. But if I do that, all that information is coming from one discipline, from one angle. If you search from multiple disciplines, you will keep your research body from becoming one-dimensional. If we're looking for as many different kinds of research on transsexual athletes as possible, there are a lot of different subjects that might be relevant. Of course, you could always go to news and newspapers to find out about current events and read some opinion editorials. General and Interdisciplinary has the so-called Walmart databases that have a little bit of everything. Statistics might be a good place to search if you want to know how many transsexuals there are, what percentage of people participate in sports, or that kind of thing. Sociology almost always has something useful, because it's the study of society. And almost every good research topic has some impact on society. You might search sociological abstracts for articles on people's reaction to transsexual athletes, how it's likely to be different in different cultures, and what impact the Olympics has on social issues like this. Law and legislation could give you the legal angle, for example, to see if anybody has filed any discrimination lawsuits, or if there are laws protecting or barring transsexual athletes from competition. Business and economics might also be good places to search. At the end of the day, the Olympics are all about money. In fact, almost everything ends up having to do with money. So business and economics are almost always relevant. In the topic of transsexual athletes, here you might find out whether corporate sponsors might be attracted or scared away, depending on the Olympic stance on transsexuals. Oh, and while I'm at it, because this is a sports topic, I should probably mention that even though sports doesn't appear on this list of subjects, there are in fact a couple of databases specifically dedicated to sports. You can get to them by typing sport into the search box. You'll find Sport Discus and the Sports Business Research Network.